Welcome back, everybody. I want to tell you now about the MAGPRO Awards because it is the highest honor any member of our government can get, and government of Guam. It's a very, very distinguished award, and to tell us once again about it, we welcome back to the Harmon Studios, Tony Lamarena and Pete Cavill. Gentlemen, half a day. Thanks for joining half us. Half a day. Half a day. Okay. Thanks for having us. All right, so Tony, you've been involved with this uh, for many, many years. Um, many years, yeah. Presenting the awards, probably deservingly um, receiving them on some level, and probably many years that you should have gotten it, but didn't. <laughs> So, you know, it's, there's always going to be that controversy, but what exactly does the MAGPRO Award mean to a recipient, and what does it do for your career in service to the people of Guam? Well, the MAGPRO is, is primarily recognition for the hard work that do, you do. There, there are employees out there in the government of Guam that have worked tirelessly to ensure that, that uh, services that are needed by the people of Guam are, are, are there. And so we just want to recognize the top employees. Uh, employees are nominated by their directors and their supervisors, but they also have to have an excellent rating. When they do their performance evaluation, all nominees have to have superior ratings. So for one, even to be nominated, you're already at the upper class of, of, uh, of the government employees. Mm -hmm. So to be recognized, and this has been going on, I believe we're at our 25th year of MAGPRO. It's, it started back in Governor Ada's days, and then uh, Governor Calvo wanted to continue it, and it's, it's a great program to recognize hardworking employees. Mm -hmm. Now, this is interesting because it's so hard to, to kind of quantify, and there's so many different types of employees in the government of Guam, because how can you, you know, assess the skills of an outstanding cashier at Revan Tax or like an or a auditor at something right. like that down at DOA with somebody who's a bus driver at DPW and everything? So what, what categories? In there are 22 categories, so therefore everyone has a different class classification. We primarily go and do that because obviously you can't have, for example, a, a professional position going against, for example, a secretary. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that the, play ta uh, the table is, 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 uh, is equal for everybody. So there are 22 categories for the employee of the year and 19 categories for the supervisor of the year. Mm -hmm. Now, does supervisor also include you know, things like uh, appointed commissioners and deputy directors and directors? No, uh, this is only open to classified employees. Mm -hmm. So employees uh, who are appointed uh, are not uh, allowed to enter the program. Well, folks like you get paid all the big bucks anyway. Yep. So you, <laughs> and you get the nice parking space. So, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to, rec to recognize, you know, like the hardworking uh, labor staff, too. Because, I mean, there are people in the government that genuinely care about the community and our island and want to do the very best job they can. And, and for them, it's never like work. Well, you know, I tell you, I've been in the government now for over 26 years. And every agency that I've worked at, I tell you, there are hardworking employees in the government of Guam. And I'm glad that uh, Governor Calvo uh, it may, wants to make sure that this program is successful because we really need to recognize these individuals. Mm -hmm. Yep. Being honored is, is always a great way to motivate staffers. Okay. okay, Pete, so to kick this off, you have a, a 5K, another 5K. We can never have enough 5Ks here on Guam. Yes, indeed. And the more the merrier. Believe me, um, you know, uh, uh, to excel in any job, you need to be healthy. And uh, mm -hmm. indeed, the 5K is... Uh, the governor's way of um, uh, extending the wellness program into the awards as well, uh, uh, emphasizing that health is, um, is part of being a successful employee. And, uh, you know, so we want to do the 5K, but we're also going to have a 2K in there for, for the shorter uh, distance runners. Um, it's not just going to be for runners. It'll be for walkers and joggers. Uh, we will have uh, uh, categories uh, for all the regular categories uh, to award medalists, uh, both male and female in each of the categories and um, you know but our, our primary target is really the public employee uh, we want to get them out there and realize the benefits of physical activity um, the non-communicable disease uh, program uh, has done a, a fantastic study in which uh, uh, the problem that, that we're realizing is that Guam has actually uh, been recognized as number one in the five deadliest categories of, uh, of death, uh, I mean, diseases, mm -hmm. um, it, to include cancer, diabetes, one and two, that's with children as well, and, um, you know, uh, stroke and... Uh, Heart and, disease. Yeah. yeah. And, it, you know, it, it's really uh, sad because um, as an island, we should really be healthy out here. We have the sunshine most of the year, and uh, we really should be out there taking advantage of that sunshine. Now, is this uh, 2K and 5K, is this only for GovGuam employees, or can anybody no, do it? it's for everybody, but uh, we, like to, we like to emphasize uh, GovGuam's uh, employees getting out there, and so that's why we, can, we made it in conjunction with the MAGPRO Awards for government employees. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, starts off the whole MAGPRO celebration. So right. what else is involved with it, Tony? Well, you know, just to, to uh, pick up on Pete, 
we're making the 5K as affordable as it can be. It's four or five dollars right. per person and twenty dollars for a, a team of five. And so we're encouraging that so group effort. What savings? That, that's the cheapest uh, 5K you'll ever enter. Mm -hmm. Now uh, the other things that we have is GovGuam's Got Talent, which is on November 9th, and uh, this is our second GovGuam's Got Talent. Last year we had about 15 uh, entries. And it's great. I tell you, besides the hardworking GovGuam employees, we've got employees out there with great talent as mm -hmm. well. All right. So unfortunately, we've got to go to commercial right now. But gentlemen, thank you so much. And we'll make sure to put the when and where and how people can uh, okay. get attendance information on, on our website. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and stay tuned. We're back after this.